Okay, whenever you're ready. <laughs> Hi, my name is Simo Les. My mother stands over my grandfather who was diagnosed with cancer. And it's unbearably silent. My grandfather just asked the doctor to do him a favor. After a month of refusing to do the favor, the doctor agrees to go through with it. My grandfather's doctor just agreed to euthanize him. My grandfather was suffering for many months before he could finally rest in peace. He was lucky that euthanasia was legal in Paraguay. I will share my knowledge of euthanasia with all of you today. I will explain what exactly euthanasia is, where it, where it is legal, and how it minimizes the pain of so many. You might be wondering what euthanasia is. Euthanasia comes from the Greek word good death. It is, euthanasia is helping a terminally ill person commit suicide. It is, it is also called mercy killing or assisted suicide. According to Kat Yuris, euthanasia is painless and doctors usually use a technique used to execute death row inmates, which is lethal injection. Euthanasia is used on terminally ill patients who have a few months to live. Euthanasia has been accepted in society for, for centuries. Euthanasia can be found in Greek and Roman civilizations. They would allow the elderly who are sick to be euthanized. They would also, the elderly would approve and celebrate suicide when they became very old and sick. Jacob Kevercain, also known as Dr. Death, has assisted 130 patients in committing suicide. That's Jack Kevercain and his suicide machine. On November 22, 1998, 60 Minutes, a TV, TV show, aired a videotape of Jacob Kevercain administering a lethal injection into Thomas Yo. Kevercain dared the authorities to try and arrest him. Kevin was charged with second degree murder and, de and delivery of controlled substance on March 22, 1999. He was sentenced to 20 years in prison. And that's him being arrested in court. Euthanasia is legal in two states. In 1994, Oregon was the first state to legalize euthanasia. They passed the Death with Dignity Act. It passed by 51 to 49 margin. Euthanasia is not considered medical treatment in Oregon. 14, 14 years later in 2008, Washington passed the Death with Dignity Act by a margin of 58 to 42 percent. Washington Death with Dignity Act is almost identical to Oregon's. In 2002, North Netherlands was the first country to legalize euthanasia. Euthanasia is controlled by the Termination of Life and Request and Assisted Suicide Act. <coughs> According to LifeSite News, there has been 2,600 euthanasia reports. There has been a 13% increase since 2008. And in May 2002, Belgium was the second country to legalize euthanasia. Euthanasia is only acceptable for the patient must be medically hopeless con in a condition of chronic, unbearable physical or psychological suffering. No one should, no one should have to be forced to live. And if euthanasia is working so well in one country, why can't it work in another? Do you now know why, what euthanasia is, where it, and where it has been legal? During my grandfather's last days, he said, quote, I'm glad that it's finally, I will finally be able to rest without being on drugs all day and feeling this pain.